Hi, I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Today we're checking out a method for automating your performance gear on stage when you're performing. It's very simple to take charge of all your gear, whether you're using a pedal board, a modeler, a keyboard, a vocal harmonizer, a digital mixer, effects processor, lights, all those things can be very easily controlled using MIDI. So let me tell you about the system that I have set up here. I've got a MacBook Pro and I'm running backing tracks inside of Ableton Live. Now backing tracks have become very common in live performance. Everyone from the biggest stars on the biggest stages to local performers in small clubs are using backing tracks to add extra harmonies, all kinds of things that can't be performed easily on stage. Now the computer is also providing our control information for us and I'll show you that in just a second. But basically what it's doing is sending MIDI patch changes. And these are just simple messages that tell connected devices to change what preset they're using. We'll assume for my band that I've got four performers who are using controllable devices. So I have a singer using a Voice Live 3 from TC Helicon. I've also got one guitar player playing through a Helix from Line 6. Our other guitar player is using a more traditional pedal board, but it's being controlled by a Boss ES5 effect switching system, which can receive MIDI commands and also switch all of its loops on and off under remote control. Finally, we have a keyboard player who has a Yamaha Montage, and we're changing presets there as well. So the way this works is, I went in and created my backing tracks in Ableton Live, and then where I want changes in all of these devices, I simply inserted a program change message into a MIDI track in Ableton Live. Let's take a look. So in Ableton Live, I have three audio tracks. I have a shaker track, I have a kick track, and I have a hi-hat and a snare track. And those are coming in at different parts of our song. At the top here, I have a MIDI track. And you can see I've labeled that Control 1, Control 5, Control 3. And this is indicating what presets are being called up as we pass that point in playback. If we select Control 1, we'll double click. We can see down here, I'm sending out Program Change 1. When I switch to Control 5, I'm sending out program change 5 down here at the bottom. This is telling our connected device to change to that preset. Let me show you how this works. When I hit playback on the computer, it'll play back the backing tracks, and you'll also see all of our devices are changing right along with the different changes in the music. So we're on preset 1. The next section of our song, we go to preset 5. In the case of the voice live, it is preset 5. In other cases, it's calling up different presets. And now we're on preset number 3. We'll go back to preset 1. Back to preset 4. And so on. You can see that all these changes are happening automatically, and this allows you as a player or a singer to just stay concentrated on what you're doing with your instrument. You don't have to worry about stepping on pedals, about changing presets, about managing any of this. It's all being handled automatically by MIDI control from the computer. All that's required to make this work is a simple MIDI interface. I have a Roland UM1 connected, and I've also got a MIDI splitter, but you may or may not need that depending on how your gear is routed. You could also get much deeper into this. You could use more MIDI commands to change different things in your different instruments, to turn individual effects on and off inside the Helix, to be changing things inside the Voice Live 3, so you could really go in and set up detailed control if you wanted to. But for the majority of performances, simply changing presets is going to do the job for you, and it's very simple to accomplish. Any DAW that will send MIDI messages, which is pretty much all of them, can be used to control things from your computer. This can be done from a Mac, a PC, an iOS device, even from your phone. Anything that can send MIDI program changes can shift these presets inside the devices. I hope you've enjoyed this look at how you can take charge of your devices using remote control, whether from a computer or another device. It's so simple to set up. A couple of cables, a DAW, program in a couple of change messages, and you're basically ready to go. If you're using backing tracks and you want to automate what's happening on stage so you can concentrate on your performance, I highly recommend you check out doing this with your own system. Thanks for joining me. I'm Mitch Gallagher from Sweetwater. Sweetwater.